Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Southern Santa Piper. Today, we are going to be discussing two pipes that I showed briefly in my video yesterday, and these are pipes from Marshall Field and Company in Chicago. I am going to be actually smoking this one today. This was the pipe I smoked yesterday. I want to show you guys all the beautiful sandblast on this. Let's give this thing a light and let's then start just discussing this. I am smoking today. I'm excited about this one. Some LJ Peretti's Midnight. And I will show you what this looks like. It is a dark, decadent black tobacco made of stoved Virginias, Cavendish to Virginias, Perique, Latakia. And we'll get fully into this here in a second. Let's find that lighter and see if we can get a light on this mm. Wow, lovely tobacco. Pipe is hitting exceptionally well. Well, before we get into the tobacco, let's tell a little story about these pipes and how I found them. Found them like I find many of my pipes on eBay. On eBay. So there's nothing special about finding a pipe on eBay per se. But... I had been searching for Orlick pipes. So I'm a big fan of Orlick. I think that they are a highly underrated pipe that, like many of the Ben Wade English made pipes, that you get an exceptional value for your dollar value. So, liking the looks and the way that a Orlick pipe smokes, I was doing a search, and then these popped up. Two Marshall Field and Company pipes made by Orlick, question mark. And they were being shipped from Greece. They were being sold together as a set. And what immediately caught my eyes being a Chicago native. I've been in Florida now for 20 years, but I was born and raised in Chicago. And Marshall Field and Company, for those of you who aren't from Chicago, was our large high-end department store. Their flagship store, if you will, was the one that was located downtown at Water Tower Place, though they had locations throughout the city as well as throughout the Chicago suburbs. When I was a teenager, I worked at a mall in Schaumburg known as Woodfield Mall. At the time, it was the largest shopping center in, in the whole entire world. Uh, more s square footage of stores under, under space than any place at the time. And one of our corner stores, if you will, was Marshall Fields and Company. And if you walked outside of its doors and into the mall, the first store that you came to on the left-hand side was Jarman Shoes, which is where I worked. So I used to spend a lot of my time on my breaks going into Marshall Fields shopping. Um, would waste a lot of my paychecks in high school buying clothes there. 
um, and things were expensive. But uh, but back then I I had pretty good taste and, and uh, liked things by Polo and other companies, and they were definitely uh, a place to find all of that. I remember though, as a child. And as a teenager, seeing their pipes in the stores, especially around holidays and over by the men's department. And um, so it definitely caught my eye. I never had any idea who made their pipes for them. Never even really crossed my mind. But these pipes were offered together and the price that was offered was fair. So I gave them a purchase. And I'm really, really, really glad that I did. I have a Dunhill pot And this smokes as equally well as my Dunhill pot shaped. Mm. Now this tobacco we're smoking today. This is a gorgeous blend of blackened tobaccos. Tin note, what I get, I get a little bit of that vinegary Virginia smell. I think some of that's coming from the preak as well. The Latakia is definitely the, uh, the key player here. And that was one of the things that I had asked for when I was in there, Todd had actually showed me a few other blends. One was their British. Um, and when I said I wanted something less Oriental forward and more Latakia forward, this is what someone from the back had recommended. And uh, it is a gorgeous tobacco. On appearance, it looks a lot like Northwoods by Boswell, but that is where we end. The tin note, and I've got the Boswell out here just so I can compare tin notes. The tin note on Boswell, even though, and I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up well, but if you look at the cut and the flake, of the Spaswell. It is very, 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 very similar in appearance to the Peretti. Now, one of the things that I noticed about the Peretti right away, it is slightly drier. I would not call this a dr too dry tobacco, but it is slightly drier. That being said, I only purchased two ounces of this tobacco. I purchased a pound of their Blend 432, and I purchased uh, some of this other blend that I forgot the name of yesterday, Tashkent. Weird name for tobacco, Tashkent. And that is their Oriental Forward. In fact, there is no Virginias in that one at all. And we'll be talking about that one in another episode as well. But this tobacco, pretty well balanced. Um, I am not getting a lot of the sweetness that I would have expected from it being a primarily blackened or stoved um, Virginia, even though I do find that many of the yellow Virginias tend to actually be a little bit sweeter, and especially once they've aged properly, than a blackened one. Um, 
That being said, it is full of Latakia creamy goodness. Let's get this lit again. It will definitely be a tobacco that I buy a pound of. What I will say is that comparing it to Boswell's Northwoods, It's got a drier mouthfeel. So for me, I would definitely need to make sure that I've got something to drink. There is some spiciness to this that is not present in the Boswell because this is, has Perique in it. Boswell does not. I get a slight floral. I get that muskiness. I'm getting smokiness from the Latakia. But I'm not getting that real heavy, smoky, smoked meat that I get from, let's say, a blend like uh, Spark Plug or Star of the East. So it's not a total lat bomb like those are, which I happen to love, by the way. This is definitely going to take a few bowls for me to really kind of get any complexities out of it. Because I can tell there's things going on here. But I never like making I guess an overall impression for I've smoked several bowls of it and out of several pipes. But overall I would say this is a great tobacco. But right now I'm getting the preak is probably the secondary player. It's more than just a condiment in here. Mmm. Pretty tasty. So, back to these pipes. These pipes... Again, listed as Marshall Field and Company. There's kind of a mystery, and I'm not finding a lot of information. And and the best guess everyone is making on these is that these pipes were made by Orlick. Kind of how that is being deducted on whether this is an Orlick or not is kind of just process of elimination and part of that is actually the font on the pipes themselves this one is uh, pretty much worn it just simply says Marshall Field this one has a little bit more that can be read Marshall Field special grain Made in London, England, and uh, well, I don't know if the camera will pick that up at all. Been made in London, England, but because of the font and uh, positioning, most everyone 
agrees that is was the Orlick factory who was producing this pipe. There was some speculation that they could have been made in France, but it wouldn't made a lot of sense for being made in France and stamped being made in England, even though there are a few pipes that call themselves things like English Briar, etc. Um, and then you see they're made in Italy or made in France on the stem, but those are usually basket pipes I find or, or pipes that are playing on a name you know like London Briar or English Briar or etc and just to find out that they're made in a, another locale but this isn't the case they are actually stamped on the pipe made in England or made in London England so that would eliminate that this being a French or an Italian made pipe. So with the fonts in here, I can't see it being anyone else myself, but Orlick. And uh, I have not done anything. I will probably clean these up a little bit more, but they came to me in lovely shape. Never smoked. Um, really kind of just age on them. And this one I smoked yesterday, I mean, this straight grain on here is just exceptional. Just exceptional. And the nice thing about blasted pipes is every blast is going to be unique and different. Um, this one, especially in the light, has some really exceptional grain and just lovely i'm becoming more and more of a fan of the pot shape if i ever commission a custom built pipe i'm strongly considering having a pot shaped bowl with a long pencil shank and a long stem basically make a pot shaped bowl bing I also wouldn't mind a pot-shaped bowl, Liverpool or even Canadian. Go with like a Canadian oval shank with a pot-shaped uh, bowl. Um, I think would be an interesting combination. There is something about a pot-shaped bowl with an English blend that just leads itself to a really phenomenal smoke. Back what matches used to call the ultimate smoke. I can get an ultimate smoke. out of a few pipe shapes that always seems to kind of lead to that ultimate smoke um, the Bing will do that for me especially the special a large Canadian will do it for me the Dunhill LBS And every pot-shaped pipe I own, whether it's a Dr. Grabo or whether it's a Dunhill, smokes really well. And with the right tobacco, I am just kicking back. And enjoying that ultimate smoke. Today's definitely a day that I think I can sit out here and have that ultimate smoke. It is absolutely perfect. If there was perfection in weather, it would be it today. There is not a cloud in the sky. There is a light, light breeze coming out of the north, which is giving just slight coolness to the air. It is in lower 70s. I would guess it's about 71, 72 right now. The sun is out 
The skies are a beautiful shade of blue. The birds are chirping. It's a wonderful time to be alive here in Florida right now. Our oldest daughter and uh, our two oldest grandchildren are in town at Disney visiting for uh, uh, several days. So we're going to be able to get together with them. They're from Chicago. We're going to get together with them this weekend. Really looking forward to that. I'm going to do dinner at Planet Hollywood and get another one of Guy Fieri's uh, crazy burgers. Um, big fan of his burgers. Big fan of Planet Hollywood, actually. I think it's a fun place to go when you're at Disney. Mm. I'm not getting that sweetness and I'm not getting a lot of the tartness either that I'm getting from from the tin note or I should say bag note Again, I'm getting that floral thing going on. That perfumey floral. I'm getting smoky, floral, dry, a little bit of fruit going on. If I was to give this a star rating, five stars being ultimate, one star being mm, barely passable, zero stars being just throw it in the garbage immediately, I would probably put this as, as a strong three and a half to four stars. And three stars with me is a very good tobacco. One is on the poor, two is fair, three is good, three and a half is very good. I consider four um, exceptional, and five stars is rare, but to me, five stars is, Well, a blend like Frogmorton is, I consider a five-star blend. I consider Star of the East a five-star blend. I consider Boswell's Northwoods a five-star blend. I consider something like uh, Sutliff East Farthing probably a good four-star blend. So those kind of give you some of the ideas of the tobaccos that, that I put up there. Mm. Guys, this is a short and simple and quick one today. We will not be doing a video during the day tomorrow. I'm going to be doing a live video tomorrow evening at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or is this now Eastern Daylight Savings Time? I don't know what they even call it. Eastern Time. We'll leave it at that. At Eastern Time we will be doing a live video tomorrow night come join me let's get together let's have a smoke together pull up your favorite tobacco pull up your favorite pipe we'll discuss whatever you guys want to talk about whether it's just hanging out and just talking about enjoyment or whatever uh, poison that we're drinking that night um if you guys want to talk about politics religion things that are off topic I'm up for anything. Or we can simply talk about pipes. But that is going to be it for today. Again, thank you for joining me on another edition of Southern Santa Piper. I am going to give these Marshall Field pipes 
two thumbs up. If you have an opportunity to find one, if you see one out there on Etsy or eBay or available on Smoking Pipes or any of your other sites that sell estate pipes, Blue Room Briars for an example, if you see any of these and if the price is within your budget, snag one up. I truly think that uh, you'll thank me afterwards. You'll be like, Ken, thanks for the recommendation. These are great pipes. They're good looking pipes. They smoke well. They've been drilled out well. And for the dollar value, I, I, I don't know how, how, you, how you beat the dollar value on these estate pipes. They are just a phenomenal, at least mine were a phenomenal value. Um, but from the ones I've seen, they've all been that way. If you're liking what you're seeing, everyone, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe, hit that little notification bell if you want to be updated whenever I release a new video. And again, thank you for joining me here on another edition of Southern Santa Piper. You all have a blessed day today. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.